All right, guys, Boy 32 here checking out. So I'm sitting in my home away from home and uh, just got back from the range today. Had a great time out there. As a matter of fact, we were able to go ahead and do a complete functions test on the Timber Creek build. That thing performed flawlessly with the exception of a failure to feed. And uh, that was quickly uh, remedied. But uh, anyway, we had the Bravo 5 from Six Sour on top of it. And uh, that's actually the video that I was going to be posting this evening because I know you guys want to see some shooting videos. And that's what we're all about in this channel. But lately, we've been focusing a lot on the Commonwealth of Virginia. And for good reason. Uh, a guy named Ralph Northam, you know, uh, you may remember him as the guy that was in blackface in his uh, college or uh, what was it, medical school after he uh, uh, after he graduated from the Virginia Military Institute, VMI. What a disgrace that an individual like that goes on to become a doctor and then is, it runs for governor and somehow is elected. It, 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 it it makes me cry sometimes. I'm just wondering how in the world, as a matter of fact, I was talking to a really good friend today and I just asked him, I said, how did such a pro second amendment state turn into a dumpster fire overnight? And we all know what it was. This is, is a guy named May, uh, is Mayor Bloomberg. Uh, he came down there, he sponsored a lot of people, sunk a lot of money into it in the advertising and he was able to turn some counties blue. One of those being the guy named Dan Helmer, a military academy graduate, infantry officer. And it's a shame that that guy was bought out. He let money skew his view on what is right. Now you're in the pocket of Bloomberg for the rest of your life. Sad. Sad. Let's get back to it. Mayor, or what is his name? Governor Northam declared a state of emergency this weekend coming up and I think Saturday through Tuesday or something like that where he states that no one will be allowed on the state grounds with a firearm or any type of weapon sticks or stones and I think the thing is is that they're they've said they have some credible intel that are they're gonna be militia people coming in from out of state and that's true there are going to be a lot of people coming in from out of state, and I think that this is going to be probably one of the biggest responses to tyranny that we've seen in the near future, or in now. Guys, this is serious. You've got a tyrannical government up there who is being run by the North Virginia, where you have the remainder of the counties and the districts in Virginia who don't have any prayer because the governor that they elected as a whole represents Northern Virginia and not Virginia as a whole. And he wonders why this happens. We wonder how this happens. And I'll tell, it, tell you how it happened is that people voted not wisely. So now what's going to happen is you've got a great big old rally by these guys up here at the Virginia Citizens Defense League. Kudos to you guys for putting this thing on. But what I hope most of all is that there's a huge showing, and it's a huge showing, and it's a peaceful showing. But evidently, Governor Northam thinks there's, there's going to be uh, a bunch of violent people up there. I beg to differ. I think that, and if you will agree with me, that majority of the people who are gun owners, and I mean 99.9% .9 of the individuals who have firearms, are peace-loving individuals. And that's what we want. Never been met a person at the range that I didn't like. Well, maybe one or two, but that's it. But the whole thing is to declare an emergency because your little whiny ass is scared. You have the, the mayor of Richmond up there. You have the Capitol Police colonel up there. You have the state police colonel up there. And you think the answer to your problems in this rally is a major police force presence. You don't know the people of Virginia, and you're pl trying to play games with them. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Did Governor Northam do the, the right thing in declaring a state of emergency? And I guarantee next time the Virginians won't vote the same way they've always voted because you never know what you're going to get. But you get somebody like Dan Helmer, who sold his soul to Bloomberg, and you're going to get some evil, tyrannic, tyrannical 
individuals and all they want is power. And now you got puppets. It's Cowboy 32. Again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And I, I can't wait. I've got videos of shooting stuff, uh, EDC, everyday carry stuff. Stuff that doesn't involve Virginia. But that's what's pop, most popular these days. Uh, it's been a long day. It's Cowboy 32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform who protect our Constitution as our founding fathers had intended. Not what these jackasses from Northern Virginia interpret it to be. Because they think this is constitutional. And it's BS. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.